Hi, hello, my name's Devaraj, and welcome back to Bioenergetics. We're outside today, sorry about a little bit of wind and uh, crow noise. But I wanted to show you like a, a high intensity uh, kind of version of a bow and extending extending arm version using a door frame. That's why I'm outside. And then we'll be integrating that with the arch. And then we'll go around and uh, do a little workout on it on a very short time frame. So basically what you're going to need is a door frame, you know, a doorway. It's got a door lining around here. Well, not the lining, but the frame around here. But you can hold on to. You know, it needs to be a little bit above your head. Obviously, if you're very tall or very small, you have to look to see what you can you can find. And then you're going to stand about like between a foot and two foot, between 30 and 60 centimeters, your toes back from the line of the frame. I'm going to stand back about, about 30 centimeters is usually enough, but you can also increase that if you want to. And then all you do is lean forwards like this, stretching your arms out. So you're not pulling your arms up, you're having your arms at full stretch and your toes push you forwards. You're on your toes, straining forwards a little bit, into this, making your body into this bow shape. And this is quite an intense posture. It really opens up the shoulder blades and the lower neck, compresses those muscles a lot. And that, that squeezing, that, that you know, applying tension and energy, stretching those muscles, allows them to start to release some holding. You hold this for 20, 30 seconds, longer if you are comfortable with it. And then you come out, pulling yourself back and hang down into the arch pose just to come out. So that's what it looks like. What's important, you know, with all bioenergetic exercises, but particularly with these kind of high intensity exercises like this, is that you really breathe deep through the mouth. Try as much as you can to really engage with your belly when you breathe. You know, that way it keeps stuff processing because when you're opening up the muscles so quickly, you know, it's easy for you to go into a kind of contraction and just hold on you know, convincing yourself you're doing it because you, you held on long enough until the, the ding went and, uh, you know, you feel like you did it. And it's true you did it, but actually it's better to really breathe. You have to really breathe into the feeling and that allows much more processing to take place. So I've lined up a 30 second ding and we can go around three times with this exercise. If you've got a door frame that you can use, let's give it a try. Let's get started with the ding. And here we go. Ah. Ah. Big breaths out through the mouth. Eyes open, looking ahead. Feeling my body. Ah. I'm really breathing into it. I'm not pulling my arms up. I'm just leaning forwards. My toes are back, pushing me outwards. That was the first 30 seconds. I'm going to hang down into the arch pose. And back up. Leaning out and breathe. And back. Hanging down in the arch, tailbone up, neck and shoulders relaxed, and leaning forwards a little bit. And for the last time, hanging into it, extending the bow.
out with the toes. And coming back, hanging down. And that's it. I'll just switch off the ding. So that was the extending bow posture. Have a little sit down after doing this. You balance it with the arch. And uh, you know, if it's really if it's really hurting like hell, you know, then don't don't overdo it, you know, if you want to do it. Reduce the time to 20 seconds. And if you feel totally cool and relaxed with 30 seconds and your arms are at full stretch and you're pushing pushing your chest out, out then start to increase the time in 10 second increments. Okay, that was Bioenergetics for today. Thanks very much for tuning in and see you again soon. Bye for now.